What's up guys, TV for Scotch and Things. Hey, sorry I'm behind on getting this video out. Uh, the ZT0804 CF. Holy crap, what an awesome knife. Um, did you watch the unboxing? Um, if so, maybe we'll... Yoink. Um, yeah, I mean, this might be... My favorite ZT so far. I think looks wise, it was one. Um, when I first saw it, I was bummed out to see that you couldn't buy them anymore new, that it was discontinued. So if you don't know, this is a discontinued model. And there you go. It's a Rexford design, 20 CV, serial numbers on there somewhere. Um, titanium, carbon fiber, smooth. It's one of those that's kind of got like a double clutch. You just got to get it right past, eh, right past there and it goes down. Flips awesome. It's a bigger knife, but it's, it's skinny and oh man, is it comfortable. Um, I absolutely love it. I carried it past my, my month and now... I kind of quit doing that for a while because I've got so many knives that I miss carrying a bunch of them. And this still, it, I mean, is constantly getting in my pocket. Great shape, great design. It looks great. It carries great. I don't know what else to say. Um, ZT, why did you quit making this? ZT, why do you quit making stuff that people like? I, I don't get it. Um... I'm not going to go on a whole tirade about it because I've talked about it before. Um, here I go again anyway. ZT, I think, has lost their way. Um, they make awesome knives, and this is proof of it. I mean, and they kind of got into more EDC style, EDC friendly size knives, which is fine. Um, but... I mean, make those and make this stuff. You know, I think a lot of people were kind of just, I don't even know the, the new one. It's designed after the, what is it? Maybe the triple nine or the triple seven. I can't remember what it's designed after. The one with the kind of the, the flying buttresses or whatever as blade stops. Um, and that's like, I don't know. It's just weird construction and weird material choices, I think, in that one. But this is a home run, guys home run if you find one i i think i would get it this is a knife i think you can truly enjoy um like i said it's super easy to carry it's super thin but if you like a and it's not super huge guys i mean it's not it's not saw too big you know so it's just a great EDC knife, if you want a little bit bigger knife. Um, I think you guys all know what, I don't usually do size comparisons, but since these aren't really out there, I mean, there's a full size Spartan Harsey. All right, about the same size, it's just a little taller. So, yeah, I mean, this isn't gonna be a super long video. It's just, I carried it, I used it. Um, it cleans up well, you know, you always, you always notice stuff on a black blade, I think, but you know, some rubbing alcohol and it looks, it looks brand new again. So these are out there. You can find them if you're interested. They were going for goofy money, man, like $500. Uh, I think I got this for like around 200, um, no box, you know, tiny little scratch on it. I'm going to put more on there. Don't worry. But just a super, super nice knife on bearings. Actually, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm assuming this is on bearings. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about the history, but nice pocket clip. The mill pocket clip works well. Backspacer, just kind of a little bit different from, you know, from ZT. Usually you get their... their they're stamped clip, but that's a really nice looking clip. Like I said, it goes in and out of pocket really well. Um, 
you can reverse it so you get the indent right there so not much else to say guys except zt why make it again but uh yeah just a quick video guys just wanted to i know i kind of left you hanging it's been over a month but just wanted to get this out there and, and let you guys see it fantastic knife guys thanks for watching i'll talk to you later